fierce battle between Russian and Ukrainian forces outside of the eastern Ukrainian city of Avdiivka has been increasing in ferocity as Moscow seeks to secure its major, which he occupied. Ukraine's special operations forces said that in the past few days, it's eliminated at least one company of Russian troops. Heroic Ukrainian resistance has withstood Russia's full frontal attack near Avdiivka. The special operations forces of the armed forces of Ukraine have shared some specifics of their hunt for Russian troops in the town of an eastern Ukrainian city. Recently, more than 10 Russian troops have been eliminated as a result of work by Ukrainian sniper pairs in the area of Bakhmut over the last few days. The special forces have noted that the Russian troops are trying to advance and assault the positions of the defense forces on the front line. In their turn, the Ukrainian Special Operations Forces are constantly monitoring, detecting and destroying Russian manpower from different ranges and with different calibers. A newly surfaced video shows the near-total destruction of a large column of Russian armor in Novomikhailivka, Donetsk Oblast. The 79th Air Assault Brigade published a compilation video that appeared to depict some 23 Russian armored vehicles in tanks being destroyed and smoking at the side of a country road. Ukrainian troops refer to the area as the road of death because of Russia's continued losses in the region. Four their clips appear to show Russian soldiers attempting to escape from strike drones, clambering out of their tanks and hiding behind mounds of soil. Many are then hit again. The brigade says the strikes were carried out using artillery fire, anti-tank missile systems, fences rigged with mines, and UAVs. Novomikhailivka has been a major conflict point between Russia and Ukrainian troops in Donbass. Russian forces launched attacks from the east of the village in December, headed south in January, and returned to the east in February. At the end of January, a video published by Ukraine's 72nd Mechanized Brigade appeared to show Ukrainian drones hitting 11 tanks and armored vehicles on the same stretch of road. In these areas, Russian forces have repeatedly resorted to sending large numbers of personnel into battle like cattle. These so-called meat assaults are high-risk frontal assaults that attempt to overwhelm Ukrainian positions. They rely on Russia's large numbers of troops, with commanders appearing to care little whether their soldiers return or not. The tactic was used in the Battle of Bakhmut, which became known as the meat grinder for tens of thousands of soldiers and continues to be used in the eastern town of Avdiivka, where Ukrainian troops have been forced to withdraw in recent weeks. Avdiivka became the site of a fierce standoff over the last nine months, emerging as one of the bloodiest battles of the war. When Russia captured the city on February 17, its first major gain since last May, the Ukrainian army claimed it had secured defensive lines outside the city. But Russian troops have captured three villages to the west of Avdiivka in a week, and they are contesting at least one other. British military intelligence said on Thursday that Russian forces had advanced to about four miles from the center of Avdiivka in the past two weeks, a small but unusually rapid advance compared with previous offensive operations. Ukrainian commanders have had ample time to prepare defenses outside Avdiivka. The area has been under attack since 2014, and Ukraine has had a tenuous hold on it since Russia launched its full-scale invasion two years ago. But the Ukrainian defenses outside Avdiivka show rudimentary earthen fortifications, often with a connecting trench for infantry troops to reach firing positions closest to the enemy, but little else. Meanwhile, as reported by Newsweek, Russian forces are paying a high cost in soldiers and materiel in their invasion, according to Kyiv's latest figures that detail the highest combination of troop and equipment losses since the start of the war, including a strike on a warship. Ukraine's general staff said on Wednesday that over the previous 24 hours, Russia had suffered troop losses of 1,250, taking the total over the two years of the war to 420,270. Kiev's latest estimate of equipment losses included 21 tanks, 40 armored fighting vehicles, 50 artillery systems, and one multiple launch rocket system, MLRS. Ukraine said that Russia also lost 58 drones, 
one cruise missile, 56 cars and cisterns, and 12 pieces of special equipment. A drone strike on patrol ship Sergiko Tav near the Kirk Strait was claimed by Kiev and dealt another blow to Russia's Black Sea Fleet, taking the total Russian equipment losses on Tuesday to 241, according to Kiev. Wednesday's tally of personnel losses was the sixth highest since the war began and the most since the 1,290 reached on February 18.